Okay. All right, what's up party animals? My name is Kezzy and I am here doing a stream with uh, Roland Wolf. Um, I recently found out he plays guitar. So we've been trying to do this collab for like ever. And we finally both have like a little bit of time to, to screw around. Um, he has his own YouTube page. He does really cool content. So go check him out. He's super friendly. I think he's sick. So let's do the collab. I'm happy to finally do a collab with someone. This is Liddy. Okay, so uh, what we're doing is I can't play the guitar. Um, I sort of can. I know my fingers don't hurt anymore pressing frets. So I've gone that far. Um, but I don't know yeah. what chords are. I don't really know how to jam. And that's what I'm going to see if Roland knows anything. So what would you say is like a good first step for a guitarist? Okay, so you got like, uh, you can use the, the you know, sort of chords, right? Now what you want to get used to is get used to the fingers, the way you want to put your chords on. And what I mean by that is that put each of your four fingers to each of the chords. Especially you have to work on more of your pinky. So that's, right, that's right. more you have to work on. My pinky is really bad at holding down strings often. That's why that's what I guess it gives me to that first. Like I think they're like all four, I mean, it's just the pinky. It's it's really bottoming. But the more I practice the more my start to get start to improve. Right, right. Okay, so you say that you know a couple of like the chords, right? Right. Like, so, you got, like, a stick here. Well, I mean, like, stick forward. So you got, like, uh, your, your, your A's, which is the... It, actually, there's, like, two A's. You got one high and so which is the low A mix. That's what makes it. So... Wait, what do you tune that? Two, is, your, is your sixth string an E or an A? It's a... Uh, it's a... Oh. Top right here, point that. And on your next one, you got your A. And then on the next thing down, like, is your, your third point, and you got your D. And on your next one, you got your B. It took me a, it took me a couple of tries just to like, memorize all of them. But once you're getting down, I'll probably say you give at least, at least like five minutes a day, and maybe like two, two months, and about months, you'll be like the. Pretty much the a pro pro playing the guitar. So is this the first string or the sixth string? Because it goes like from it, top to bottom, it, right? Uh, yeah, it's a, it goes from top to bottom. Okay. But right here, uh, it's the sixth string. Okay. It took it took me a while just to like learn all learn all the the voice by memory. But uh, if you do this like. Uh, Maybe like uh, every five minutes, and uh, maybe two months, and you should be start seeing the approval. So even just five minutes a day, like you don't even need to spend like you know a whole hour practicing chords. Yeah. Like you know, just spend five minutes, do a quick you know chord progression, and then that's it for the day. And then the next day, just do it again. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. After like a few months, that's like what I mean, five maybe, times like, ninety. Yeah, and if you want to, you at least like, at least uh, give it a, at least a break here and there. But uh, just do like uh, like five minutes a day, then uh, you should be pretty good at it in no time. I'd say like uh, practice with your like your fingers. That way, that, that way you get your fingers to be like more flexible as you play the guitar. Because I remember the first time I tried I tried doing it wasn't as flexible. But the more I start practicing. The guitar, more it's, it's more flexible when I can play it. Plus, you have to like, bend your uh, finger as you're playing it. Like I can see here, supposed to hold it like this, and then you're bending your finger as you're pressing down with the string without touching the other string. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's something that's, like, hard to do, because you got to, like, use, like, the narrowest part of your finger 
Yeah, because, like, I can't... Fretting with my pinky actually hurts, for the most part. If I, I do, like, this, with the touch with the other one, if I put touch with the... Oh, yeah, 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 if, like, you use the big pads of your finger, the... Well, now I'm pressing too many strings. But, yeah, you don't get the string ringing out, do you? I said, what, what else do you know of? What else do I know? Yeah. Hardly anything. I barely know, like, what I could be doing. Because, like, I know that one of my friends told me to, like, try practicing scales. But I don't know what a scale to practice is. Because, like, you know, people shred and they're like, nah, 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 and they're pressing, like, a bunch of buttons or the fretting a bunch of things. But I don't know. Like, do you... So, like, I mean, obviously you can play on the big string, but, like, that's not very dynamic, because, like, what people you can also do is, you know, there's there's a lot of notes. Like, you know, I could play an E. I could play an E here, but I can also play, like, an E. Where's the E? Yeah, I can play an E on this string, or I can play an E here on this string. And they're both E. But there's, and they're both the same E, but they're both in very different spots. Yeah, I was like, use the first when I start playing it. Another thing that that you quite you know is the uh, you have to know the each of the chords they they uh, that I pushed on. Because if you don't know any chord, then you just just push, you know, without right. any knowing. Yeah, yeah, I can't, like, even, like, you can't press random keys on this, because, like, I could, I could make some sort of shape with my fingers, and I make, you know, I don't know, something that sounds like a dead clown, and it's not exactly pleasant without knowing, you know, what you're, I mean, it's just the same thing as the piano, and that's why I kind of like the piano more, um, not that I don't love the guitar, it feels much more connected, but the piano... You, if you only press the white keys, you're at least playing in C major. Like, here, you can't just, you know, pick one string and decide, all right, that's a scale, because, you know... Yeah, it's like, it's like, like, all the... I just... Everything. Yeah, there's, there's a pattern of steps, and it's difficult to have a full-on jam before you kind of know what you're doing. Yeah, exactly. Like, uh, after I got this guitar, I also got a piano, by the way, which it didn't come with dude. It's almost, it's almost like playing the guitar, actually. Like, uh, playing the piano, for, for you, for example, so you actually play the guitar, not it's that that piano has like uh, a lot more keys compared to the guitar, where you have to like memorize all the keys you have. You have to memorize. After like uh, when him starting to start his to pressing the guitar so hard, I feel like I need like something to where it's on my hand that way you know it won't get stored a lot. And I heard a friend of mine, when the name goes by uh, Riv. Who, he goes, he's also placed the uh, car in his first suit. And uh, he has, he's wears like one of these little gloves, which is actually meant for playing the guitar, and it's supposed to help you with the sore hand without the. Uh, Wait, you know, he can, your Riv, isn't he on YouTube? I've seen him before. Yeah. Okay, okay, he's cool. Um. But he play. He has like a glove for playing guitar. Yeah. I didn't know you could play guitar with gloves on. They sell guitar gloves. Yeah, they they literally like sell it on the, which is like pretty good. The uh, pretty good price though. That's cool. And, it, and in the you show me a couple of pictures where the guy should like dye your the whatever kind of colors you want to put on it. But say like uh, you wanna put it, yeah, like say um, put it the exact same color as your first head and put it on your gloves. You could do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was like thinking. Is that like if I I couldn't, 
I wouldn't be able to play a guitar in full suit. I mean, that's why that's why I do a lot of my videos, you know, wearing like my arms out because I don't really care. But at the same time, if I could full suit and play instruments, I probably would do that more. But a lot of the stuff it requires such fine motor skills. A big, I have like I have like the biggest bappiest paws. So like these aren't. This is like. The, one finger is the size of the entire fretboard, so... Oh, I only have, like, just the, the head and tail. You only see just the head. Oh, I didn't know you had a tail. tail. Yeah, I do. That's cool. I love the texture um, of their fur. I think. Like, has, like... It has, like... I don't know. I, I can't describe it very well. It's just so, like... It looks like you can look inside of it and it's like sparkly or something. Not sp sparkle isn't the right word, but it's like really cool looking. I like it a lot. Yeah. Uh, I have a couple of people that ask me that they recognize the, the style of my first dude. And how someone asked me, the person that make these doesn't make these styles of first anymore. Oh no. I hope they, st do they still make fursuits? Uh, not that I know. I, mean, I try to look the, someone tell me the name of the, the first dude maker. But I could not find it anywhere on the internet or any social media. That sucks. Yeah, like, my maker, I got mine, I got mine commissioned. But I think they've just taken their last batch of fursuits, and they're going to just kind of stop making fursuits. Which kind of sucks, because I like my fursuit, and I wanted to get another sometime in the future. But, yeah. But I am about getting a, a fursuit. I just don't know where from who. That's the hardest part is trying to figure out who to get a fursuit from because you can get, you, you don't just get a fursuit. You get the whole look with it too. You know, if I, if my fursuit was made by like mixed candy or whoever, that's the first one I thought of, um, it would look so much different. You, I would not look like I do right now. And even though, you know, the color scheme might be the same, there's the whole a style looks different. So, like, if you got a new fursuit of your character, you'd look... You'd, you'd have a different look, which should be different for everyone, especially since we're, like, you know, we're both doing YouTube stuff. Yeah, of have course. Have you ever thought about, like, just getting a bodysuit? Uh, I think I just got to keep here and getting the, a partial, because the... We are like, like kind of still in the middle of the hot weather. And Dude, the... that's me right now. I'm so mad. It's like, what does the temperature say? It is 91 degrees outside. And that is hot for me as an Oregonian. Um, yeah. And like fursuiting, even like I'm in my room right now and I'm sweating up a lot. So yeah, it sucks in the summer owning a full suit. And you're like, oh, I want to do the full suiting stuff. But then it's like, do I want to boil myself alive? Here, outside is literally post, like, 98 uh, outside right now. God, I could not. I could not. Yeah, like, yeah, the weather here in Texas, like, it's been kind of crazy lately. Like, this last, uh, like, a couple of months ago, we literally had, like, a little storm, storm. And the temperature literally dropped, like, uh, below, like, 20 degrees. Oh and it literally, like, it literally snow. Yeah, you're from, are you from Texas, right? That's what your Twitter says. Yeah. Least. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Like, I'm from Oregon, and it usually stays pretty mild. We don't get a lot of snow, nor a lot of heat. But, like, these past couple years have been insane. Like, I think it snowed at least once a year here. And when I was a kid, like, it would maybe snow once every five years. Like, I did not have a lot of snow days as a child, but as an adult, like, holy crap, I think I've never dealt with more snow. It's been nutty. And then this big heat wave, like, it was like 110 a few weeks ago. Oh, that was bad. Yeah, we, we, we do get, like, the, like snow here just uh, now as, as much, like, uh, like, uh, like, we actually, last time we had that this much snow, it was the uh, since the nineteen eighty five or nineteen eighty six. That was like crap. the very last time that we really had like a lot of snow. 
and uh, my gun had like uh, some old photos of it. But uh, we had literally had a lot of snow. Yikes! It's like, pretty crazy though. Yeah, I bet. And uh, not only that, like uh, almost the entire city, actually the whole state, went out without power and heat, and uh, our water supplies literally just froze up. Holy crap! Well, I'm glad you're still safe. Goodness, that must have been scary. Yeah, lucky I had I had lucky I came prepared. I had like uh, I had the propane. I had the the generator going. That's fair. So, yeah. That's one thing I've definitely uh, heard a fair amount with, like, Texas kind of lifestyles is very much a prepper type of life where, you know, you have a lot of stuff ready for for disaster. And, like, you gotta, like, I've kind of had a cushy life in Oregon because we don't have t tornadoes, we don't have snowstorms, we don't have a lot of heat, or at least didn't. And, like, things have been pretty not natural disasters but like you know you live somewhere in like florida you're gonna have you know like a hurricane is just the way of life <laughs> all right i don't know if i can go on for much longer because it has been like th almost 30 minutes so do you have any closing uh tips tricks statements ideas because i'm like a puddle right now i'm sweating to death I say like the one tip that I could give you, especially like for those of you that are watching, um, always like keep practicing the every five minutes, and then the, just to give it a time to practice, and then you be fun in no time. Just give it a little bit of time. Honestly, yeah, big agree. Any kind of practicing is more important than none. You know, a lot of people, especially like if you're old like an adult like you're like oh i don't have any time i have to work i have to go to school i have to do homework i have to do this and that and the other thing but like you know if you've spent you know if, if, if yesterday you spent if you watch this video you probably could have spent that time better you know playing an instrument or learning the craft that you want to learn even if you only spent five minutes watching something if you just turn that five minutes into you know practice time that's now like, more practice for you. For example, I I live like what like the uh, like four hours a day, seven days a week. I don't get get here till I post to five, but I still make enough time to the guitar do YouTube. So I pretty much I try to, to make time for what I have. Right, right, and that's what you got to do. Is that you know there there's always time in the day. It's just a matter of how you want to spend it. And, like, that's something that I've struggled with by far is, like, you know, I'll spend, I'll spend two hours on TikTok. And, like, oftentimes I can get a video out and edited within two hours. So, you know, there's definitely a balance to what you'd rather be doing. And if you want to get better at something, you got to practice. And you don't have to do a ton of practice. You know, you don't have to dedicate your life and soul to the instrument. But, you know, spend a little bit of time with it. Learn the keyboard and, or learn, learn the frets and stuff like that. Um, that was something I did when I first got into the guitar was just trying to get used to my fingers pressing the frets. And at first, I could only last a few minutes a day because it would just start to hurt too much to keep going. But eventually, the pain just went away and I could finally play. Uh, at least I could fret, key, fret notes as good as, you know, some of my friends. And it was nice to be able to actually feel like I could play the instrument instead of just suffering the whole time. And that definitely adds a ton uh, if you're if you're starting out playing a guitar is like once the pain stops, it stops starts being a lot more interesting. But yeah, uh, thanks so much for watching. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs>